In the year 2000, a series of posts on the internet got massive attention. A poster by the name John Teeter claimed he had came back in time to warn humanity of a nuclear apocalypse if we didn't change our ways. Conspiracy theorists today still consider Teeter a great mystery, and many think his claims of time travel are true and we are going to tell you why. After publishing several future predictions which gave people advice on how to avoid catastrophe and sharing images of what he claimed was his time machine, he suddenly vanished. On November 2nd, 2000, he wrote online, Greetings! I am a time traveler from the year 2036. I am on my way home after getting an IBM 5100 computer system from the year 1975. He told stunned internet users, My goal is not to be believed. Perhaps I should let you all in on a little secret. No one likes you in the future. This time period is looked at as being full of lazy, self-centered, civically ignorant sheep. Perhaps you should be less concerned about me and more concerned about that. Then Teeter came out with a surprising number of predictions which over the years have surprisingly became true. He said, none of the things I have said will be a surprise. They were set in motion 10, 20, even 30 years ago. Are you really surprised to find out that North Korea has nukes now? Or is that just to whip everyone up into accepting the next war? Another astonishing prediction was about one of the first personal computers, the IBM 5100, which had a secret functions only revealed in August 2004. The function allowed the machine to emulate programs in older languages used by IBM mainframes, but the company kept this under wraps in case it was abused by competition. In 2004, three years later, after T vanished from the internet, IBM announced that such a secret function did actually exist. This astonishing announcement reignited claims that John Teeter was either very knowledgeable about the IBM programming or was actually a time traveler. In one of Teeter's posts, he randomly wrote the question, care to share with me how you solved the overheating problem on your space shuttle? It is thought he was referring to the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster in 2003 where all seven crew members died. To this day, people still wonder who he was. He seemed very very ahead of his time and could answer almost any question. On March 24th, 2001, Teeter left his final message, and it reads, I will be leaving this world line shortly, and this will be my final post. There are only a handful of people who will know exactly when I will be leaving, and I'm sure they will let you know when I'm gone. In the last few days, I have found your choice of topics quite interesting, and from an objective viewpoint, I think it collectively answers one of your own questions. If time travel is real, where are all the time travel? Travelers. In the past, I have stated that quite frankly, you all scared the hell out of me and I'm sure other temporal drivers would feel the same. But now I have an expanded explanation with two examples. A while ago on one of the posts, I related an experience I had with my parents while we were driving down a highway. Every now and then we would pass someone who was in obvious distress with their vehicle. I was amazed that so many people could pass them by without stopping to help. Their explanation was fear. The risk of helping someone was too great and with today's technology, they probably had a cell phone anyway. If they didn't, the walk to a gas station would be good for them and teach them a lesson for running out of gas. The other example is the plight of the homeless. When you pass them as individuals on the street, I see the way people selectively choose an alternate path to avoid them. Those two examples best define why time travelers do not show themselves. In trying to help you, we put ourselves at great risk and there's really no point to it. We know the nature of time dictates that traveling between exact worldly is impossible. Therefore, the only results we see will be the ones we stay to see. Since World Line's outcomes and events are infinite, we have better things to do. When I arrive in the new 1998 World Line on my way home, I could easily start all of this again and continue to go through the same conversations with all of the same people. However, I already know you won't pay any attention or believe in me because we've already been through this in our World Line. Besides, I think the walk to the gas station will do you some good. It were these details that gave a plausibility to Teeter's wild claims. There was just something about them that was convincing, just grubby enough to seem real, laced with just enough techno babble to convince us that he knew something about something. The fact that we have the ability to guide the outcome of our world among the many possibilities in the multiverse is perhaps the most important message Teeter gave us. What do you guys think? Was John Teeter a real life time traveler? If it was a hoax, why did no one ever come forward and why were the internet posts so abruptly stopped? My name is Seth from the Vertex Films YouTube channel, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more.